Okay, now we're going to build a voltmeter. And let's say that we have the same basic meter that we had for the ammeter example. And we want the meter now to read 25 volts full scale. So it's going to be a voltmeter that when placed across an element measures the potential difference. And if it reads full scale, it should be 25 volts corresponding to that. So the difference now is that we're going to put a series resistor in line with the meter. So this kind of looks like a shunt resistor, but it's not. That shunt resistor in the ammeter example was right across here. It's not what we have going now. This is a circuit element. We're putting, instead of the shunt across there, we're putting a resistor in series. <clears throat> and as before, 5 milliamps causes full scale deflection. So we're going to have a current going through a circuit component and we're going to place this across that component and measure the result, measure the voltage. Okay, well the circuit element. Uh, it could be anything. doesn't really matter what it is. But we already know we have 0.1 volts across this coil when there's a full scale reading. So the series resistance, we're going to have to figure out what that is. It's going to have 24.9 volts across it, so that there's a total of 25 when you got 5 milliamps flowing through this. <clears throat> the theoretical value then, that resistance is the voltage across it divided by its current. And we already know what that voltage is, but it's the full scale reading minus whatever's across this. Full scale minus V coil over the current in the coil. So 24.9 over 5 milliamps, 4.98 K ohms. Or we could just say VAB is equal to IC. The, the voltage from A to B is this current times the resistance of the series of the series resistor plus the coil resistance. And so solving for the series resistance, 25 over 5 milliamps minus 20, 4.98K. So there it is. Basically a 5K ohm resistor. That's what that essentially is. So let's measure the resistance. You think you have a 5K ohm resistor, so just be careful. And Well, actually, you could take a ohm meter and measure it directly. We'll, I'll mention ohm meters in the next slide just a little bit. So V over I across that resistance. Say you have 10 volts when you drive 0.002 amps through it. So that gives you 5K. So you use that. You stick the 5K ohm resistor in there. You put it in the meter. You put the power supply across the circuit. You measure the voltage with a external voltmeter. You measure the voltage across here then when this is full scale, when the meter reads full scale. And hopefully that voltage will be about 25 volts. There will be some variance with that because the, the series resistors aren't going to be perfect. and you know, So that's okay. But that's how you do a voltmeter. Now has the current in the branch, this branch here, has it changed the result of placing the voltmeter in the branch? Well, yes, it has. Because here's, here's the current coming in to this thing. Well, you've just put a voltmeter across here. This whole thing above here is what you added. And it's trickling off some of the current. It's trickling off 5 milliamps in this case. And so that changes the circuit a little bit. Voltmeters and ammeters do disturb the circuit, but the whole point is to minimize that effect. So here we have a high resistance in parallel, which doesn't change things very much. The ammeter was a low resistance in series. Now, how would you construct a watt meter? What would a watt meter consist of? We know that watts is volts times current, volts times amps. So here's a voltmeter and an ammeter hooked up properly. We're trying to find the, the watts or power in the resistor. Not too easy to just take a watt meter and think of it as just a single connection, put it across or through. It doesn't quite work that way because you need both of these things simultaneously. Well, the voltmeter is going to trickle a little current. That's, you know, the, the resistor in question is R. How much power is being consumed or dissipated by that resistor. 
So we have a current reading, we have a volt reading. <clears throat> so what we need is power is volts times current. And in this configuration, where power can be seen in these other two ways, we have that the current here is exactly correct. We're assuming these, this current meter and volt meter are reading actual values. So we're not worried about that now. But since any current flowing through R has to flow through this ammeter, it's exactly right. What about the voltmeter? Is the voltmeter reading across the resistor? Well, no, it's reading across the resistor and the ammeter. So its voltage consists of both. There is a little bit of voltage across the ammeter because it's not a zero ohm resistance there. Well, we could configure it like this. Get volts across the resistor and the current. So now I'm going to call that IR the current through the resistor, which is the important thing. And here's the current that the ammeter reads. V now is exactly correct because it's reading directly across the resistance in question. But the current is not IR. The current is IR plus the meter trickle current. So it's not an exactitude there, but that's the idea of how you could get the power. Now, ohm meters, we're going to start with the same basic meter movement with the ohm symbol there. So it's the same basic meter movement as a current meter and volt meter. Here it is. But this time we're going to put a series resistance and an internal battery also. So here's the terminals of the meter. And when we connect this circuit up, this battery drives current through whatever it is through this series resistor and causes a deflection. Well, this makes sense. You're going to calibrate with this resistor here, which is settable, there's different positions you could take, switch it to different resistances so that the full scale reading corresponds to a, a preset external resistance value. In other words, when we bring in a resistor, that completes the circuit. Say this is 1000 ohms. So this, I don't know what it would be, but it's set so that if this resistance is 1000 ohms, then the current through that and this in series causes full-scale deflection. So it's not very hard to do that. You may switch it to a different series resistor, and then maybe it's a lower value, so that when you bring a 10,000 ohm resistor across here, it reads full-scale. So that's the basic idea of the various um, physical quantities we can obtain using those that same basic meter movement that can apply to both current voltage watts using both the current and voltage and then ohms or resistance as well.